Spectrometer. The spectrometer is an optical instrument used to study the spectra of different sources of light and to measure the refractive index of materials. It consists of basically three parts that are collimeter, prism table, and telescope. Collimeter. The collimeter is an arrangement of produce a parallel beam of light. It consists of a long cylindrical tube with a convex lens at the inner end and the vertical slit at the outer end of the tube. The distance between the slit and the lens can be adjusted such that the slit is at focus the lens. The slit is kept facing the source of light. The width of slit can be adjusted. The collimeter is rigidly fixed to base of the instruments. Prism table a prism table is used to mounting the prism, grating, etc. It consists of two circular metal discs provide the three living screws. It can be rotated about the vertical axis passing through the center and its position can be read with verniers V1 and V2. The prism table can be raised or lowered, can be fixed at the any desired height. Telescope. The telescope is an astronomical type. It consists of eyepiece provided with cross wire at one end of the tube and an objective lens and its other end coaxially. The distance between the objective lens and the eyepiece can be adjusted so that the telescope forms a clear image at the cross wire when a parallel beam of from the collimeter is instanced on it. The telescope is attached to an arm which is capable of rotation about the same vertical axis as the prism table. The circular scale graduated in half degree is attached to it. The both telescope for prism table are provided the radial screws for fixing them in a desired position and tangent screws for fine adjustments. The preliminary adjustments of the spectrometer are mad. The grating is set for normal incidence. The slit is eliminated by a mercury vapor lamp. The telescope is brought in a line with the collimeter and the direct image of the slit is mad to coincide with the vertical cross wire. The readings of one vernier are noted. The vernier table is firmly clamped now. The telescope is rotated exactly through 90 degree and is fixed in the position. The grating is mounted vertically on the prism table with its ruled surface facing the collimeter. The vernier table is released and is slowly rotated till the reflected image coincides with the vertical cross wire. The leaving screws are adjusted show that the image is at the center of the field of view of telescopes. The prism table is fixed and after the marking fine adjustments with the tangent screw. The readings of Vernier are noted. Now, the angle of incidence is 45 degree. The vernier table is then released and rotated exactly through 45 degree in the proper direction. Show that 
the surface of the grating becomes normal to the incident light. The one year table is firmly clamped in this position. The telescope is then released and is brought to observe the direct image on the other side of direct image. The diffraction spectra are seen. The telescope is turned slowly towards the left show that the vertical crash wire coincides with the violet lines of the first order. The readings of vernier are taken. The vernier one reading is the vernier 0 0.0 points in main scale division is 146 degree 0 minutes. Here the main scale 1 division is equal to 30 minutes. So the least one calculation is 1 main scale division divided by number of vernier scale division. The 1 main scale division's value 30 minutes. The number of vernier scale division is 30. So least comes here 1 minutes. So, in this coincident vernier value is number 6. So, the total reading is MSR plus VZ into least count. Here, MSR 146 degree 0 minutes and vernier coincidence 6 division into least count 1 minutes. So, the total answer is 146 degree and 6 minutes. The other side, the vernier scale reading is the main scale reading 326 degree 0 minutes. The vernier scale coincidence number 10. So total reading is MSR plus VZ into least count. MSR value 326 degree 0 minutes plus vernier scale coincidence 10 division into least count 1 minutes. So the total answer is 326 degree. 10 minutes. Similarly, you calculate the further coincidence lines.
A vertical crosswire is then mapped to coincide with the other lines on the left and the vernier reading are taken in each case. The telescopes is then moved to the right and the reading of different lines is similarly taken. The difference between the readings on the left and right on the same vernier is determined for each lines. The mean value of this difference gives 2 theta twice the angle of diffraction. That is the angle of diffraction theta for each spectral line is determined. The wavelength of green line is 5461 Armstrong. The number of lines per meter capital N of the grating is calculated. Using this value of n, the wavelength of other prominent lines in this spectrum are calculated.